Yeah, 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 Pop Tech, we're doing an interview. We're coming a little closer. Here we go. All right, Talk to me, brother. All right, you two, this is Pop Tech. I'm here with Greg. And Greg, who are you on, on that? Who am I? Yes, who are I you? I am you, and you are me, and we are it. Uh, most people know me as Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go and Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Dwight from Fast and Furious and Chuck on the Middle. But I've uh, been in over 150 different television shows and movies. And most importantly, I'm here in Greensboro, North Carolina, being with the people, which is my favorite thing to do. Yes. Yes. So I got and with my son, Wingman G. Yes, Wingman. Yes. So I got a couple questions for you. Yeah, for you. So first question is, you, look like you, you name all those roles you've done. Yeah. Like you said, Dwight from Fast and Furious, Butter from One on One. -on -one. Oh yeah, I'm Butter on One on One, that's right. Uh, you play uh, Bluefer on True Blood. That's right, I'm on True Blood. And you also was a Sim. You did a voice for a Sims before. Right? Yeah, I've done a lot of video games, I'm a Sim. Yes. So um, what's, what character, um, all these roles, how do you play your personality, your personal personality? I have a very vast personality. I have many dimensions. Um, so it allows me as like a, you know, an actor to to tap into all these different like highs and lows of my personality, whether it's co comedic or serious, or you know, I'm very I'm a very passionate person. I'm infinitely inspired, and with my art, uh, it's just um, it, everything's a big part of who I am. Every character is definitely a big part of who I am. Yeah. As of like, you've been playing a lot of chill, easygoing people. Do you find that you being top cast, or is it a character that you like playing? Well, I love playing all the roles that I get cast for because I wouldn't audition otherwise. Yes. Um, but typecasting is cool with me too. I, I, you know, I really, I love to get hired because people love who I am. So it's a blessing. Yeah. All right, Change Time Goes has a lot of adult jokes in it. You talked about adult, adult yeah. jokes earlier. What was your favorite one in the whole movie? Oh, my favorite adult joke in Teen Titans Go to the Movies? Yes. The fart joke! <laughs> I mean, did you know what the word, do you, this is something for all you all out there. Do you know the word adult? Do you know what it means? What's it mean? What do you think adult is? A uh, person of older age? No, adult is a dummy. Look it up in the dictionary. Dult means, D-U-L-T is a dummy. Adult means a dummy. I'm the, we're not trying to be dummies here. You could be a grown up, but we ain't gonna be an adult. No. And that's why I love Teen Titans Go and Teen Titans Go the movies is yes. because we actually put little hints of like consciousness and everything. So maybe the most adult thing, a dummy thing is like a fart joke, and that's fine, that's fine. But we want to be grown-ups, and the grown-up stuff I love about Teen Titans Go and Teen Titans Go the movies, we do episodes about like pyramid scheme monies and low-income housing and the gold standard. One time I punched President Nixon in the face. Yes. That was awesome. Hopefully I get to punch Trump in the face one time as Beast Boy. Oh, we don't get them. So we know have better here. As Beast Boy. I wouldn't do it in real life. Don't send the FBI after yes, yes. this. <laughs> okay, Michael Angel has um, Leatherhead. Kevin has Ben Team. Beast Boy has Cyborg, but which one of those would you really have as a friend? Which one of those would Cyborg? Who would I have? Wait, what was the uh, question? Out uh, of uh, Leatherhead, Bantan, and Cyborg, who would you really have as a friend? Cyborg, Gil. That's my man. Cyborg. Yeah. Alright. Um, Young Justice is back. We, we talked about that earlier. Yeah, I'm, I play Garfield Logan in Young Justice Beast Boy as a 20-year-old uh, Beast Boy, basically. I'm a TV star. and. Very much about, uh, very much similar to who I am right now, where my whole life is dedicated to making a difference in the world, and that's what I do on Young Justice. Beast Boy is all about making a difference in the world, meta human, meta human trafficking, basically, just you know, protecting all life on the planet Earth. That's what Beast Boy is all about. All right, so you have worked with a lot of people. Who do you like working with? I love working with everybody that I get to work with, especially. In the voiceover world, voice acting, the people are so sweet. My cast of Teen Titans, we've been working together for almost 20 years, so it's my family. And just everybody I get to work with, from Ciro Nieli, the creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Kevin Eastman, Tur Ninja Turtles, and just on and on and on. The, the, I'm just so lucky to work with my family in every project, everywhere. Yes. All right, so this is something you have not said anything about all day I noticed. A foul American. Oh, yeah, a foul American. Yes. <laughs> foul I, I enjoy that. Um, where did you come up with the idea for it? Uh, Foul American is a show about Donald Trump as a little orange chicken named Ronald Rump. Ronald, Ronald T. Rump. And uh, we are about to put out a lot of new Foul American stuff. We took a little hiatus, a little break from putting out content just because we've been working so hard at the next phase, which will include a, a mobile game and basically a feature film. So a game and a film from yeah, that one little Yeah, yeah, in like a mini series. We might break up the film into little parts. And that's going to be on the new Noise Nest Network. 
your new network that you're working on. That's right. I'm one of the owners of this new network called the Noise Nest Network. So you've been vegan for nine years now. I've been a vegan for 20 years. 20 years. Uh, oh. Yeah, 20 so you've been vegan for nine years now. I've been a vegan for twenty years. Twenty years. Oh. Yeah, twenty years. I've been a vegetarian since I was about eleven. But I'm also a, I'm a Nowist. We don't believe in age. Is it, what's that blue thing on your thing? Oh, not for sure. What's that say? Card full. Oh man, you got your interview then. And it's right here live on my Instagram. That was a good interview, bro. All right. You can keep going though for the people here. All right. Um, so, uh, get what's in your the favorite? Frame. Get in the frame. So, what's your favorite vegan dish? My favorite vegan dish is I love superfood salads. I teach people all the time how to make my sipes superfood salad, which is basically a lot of spirulina, great oils, um, greens like kale, and you mix it up with nutritional yeast. Basically, it comes down to this. If you want to get healthy, if you want to cure yourself from cancer, AIDS, low immune system, whatever it is, arthritis, it comes down to cow. C-O-W. Chlorophyll, which is green. The greens, greens, greens. Oils, really good oils. Uh, Cold-pressed olive oils, hemp seed oils, seed oils, and good water. If you can get to those three things, you can heal yourself from everything and also stop aging. You can reverse aging. I'm actually 300,000 years old. Oh, th but that's like a rough estimate. Yeah, it's, it's a good phrase, so. Thank you. Um, we'll let, we'll 300,000 billion trillion years old. Didn't you have that number that, did you say that in the audience? You were like 250, 100 years? Didn't you come up with that? I think you no, did. No, but her brother asked how old you were. Yeah, yeah, but then he had, and then I asked, that how old do you think I am? Nonetheless, yes. I'm infinite, man. I'm a yes. nowus. Wingman has taught me that. I got one last question for you. Since yeah. I, my camera cut off on yeah. me. Yeah. Um, you done, you know, uh, most of the Beast Boys. Like yeah. Any, anything but live action. Do you think you should have a right to that person, or? I mean, if you're asking me for sure. You know, the rights to voice the character. Yeah, I mean, Beast Boy is me. I've uh, brought him to life. I've given him, um, you know, who, all my myself to who Beast Boy is. Mm -hmm. I'm also grateful for all the opportunities I've been given to play him. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't create him in the 70s, but I've definitely created the Beast Boy that everybody is in love with now. Yes. And I'm really grateful for that. And hopefully I get to play Beast Boy till the day I move on out of this body. Yes. So, um, we actually have some to give people on my channel. So, I'm... Um... Oh yeah, this is gonna go to all, to the winner of the Pop Tech YouTube channel, so just look Beast for Boy. Pop Tech. It's Pop Tech yep. underscore YouTube. Go uh, watch this interview on Pop Tech. He's going to edit it, put some sugar on it, yes. and he's going to do a little, you could win this signed picture. Yes. So uh, by Wednesday, because it's actually about to snow here, so you about to hopefully head out soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to split before the snow, I think. Yes. Either way, I'm going to be snowboarding if I don't split. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah, blessings, dude. I appreciate you. No, nice shirt. Thank you. Look at that. He's it's actually the... from Funko. Funko. We love Funko. Yes. That's what's up. Peace, loving animals, y'all. Catch you later, Greensboro. Catch you later, world. Peace, loving animals. That's how we do it, bro.